Libras, here is my gift for Mambo Sierra. Isn't it fitting for us? Isn't it? Whether you're male or female, isn't it fitting? So Libras, the spirit messages were really good. They kind of back, piggyback off of what we saw last week with, you know, some spell work and some stuff like that. So some of you definitely are going to have to keep your cleansings up, your prayers up. Hopefully this reading will kind of move us past that into, you know, some, some more positive energy levers. Whatever it is, all I ask is that you be open to the messages that Spirit is sending you because they're sending them to help you navigate, not to cause any type of anxiety or fears, but to help you navigate. So Spirit, what do we have? For the Libras, for the month of October 2021. Libras, my people. Libra, 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 Libras. Y'all know I love you. So let's see what we have. Libra, 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 Libra. Libras, I will say, you know, be careful of gossip. Now, we still are in Mercury retrograde, and we know some of us, our mouth is not always the best or politest thing. You know, we get very irritated sometimes with people that try to tell us what to say, what to do, what to think. So I will say, watch uh, your tone this month, because you may be having some issues with miscommunication. There could also be, because I saw it in spirit messages, there may be a little bit of... Um, uh, manipulation that might be coming your way. Now, this could be with people that you're dealing with or working with. Um, some of you may not encounter this energy up, but here we go. Watch your mouth. Flew out. Watch your mouth. So you may have somebody that tries to bait you. Could be somebody who's trying to play tricks or games on you, but it is kind of like watch your back, watch your mouth, especially if you're working with somebody or there is something with um, problems with family. I feel like, too, that there may be some issues, some conflict or arguments with family. Let's see. Oh, hold up. We had a whole book that just fell out. Okay. I'm going to let that come, too. All right, spirit. That one flew out. Leave hold up. Ah, somebody from the past coming back, Libra. What they want? What they what they want? What DMX say? What they want from a ninja? All right, two more cards, Spirit. Two more cards for Libras. Two more cards. I'm going to cut it too with my finger. Some more cards for Libra. What is the message? Okay, we got a flip. Some of y'all definitely are getting some messages from the other side. Your mediumship is opening up. You could be getting ready to go on some type of new spiritual journey. Kind of mirrors a little bit what I saw in the spirit message. So some of this definitely will pertain to me. So let me see. Let me pull them all down. Let's see what we got going on. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Libras, first card we have is success. Second card we have is fear. Third card is watch your mouth. Let's see. Fourth card is assert yourself. And we got playa playa from the Himalaya. We have relationship problems. We have memories of person from the past. Spirit communication. Spiritual journey. And then finally, we have sickness that's coming in. So looks like some of you are having an opportunity that's coming in. Could be putting you in front of people, the limelight. This could be people that you work with that are giving you some type of recognition. Some of you, I feel like there's some travel that may be coming in with this. But I do feel like people watching you or looking at you. So this could be on social media. Some of you may be um, influencers. You could be... Um, 
teachers, but I feel like that there is sharing some type of knowledge, but I feel like there's an opportunity that's going to be coming your way. Some of you may be a little bit afraid of it. Um, I feel like that somebody is going to be reaching out to you with an opportunity. This could be, I want you to come, you know, to New York or, you know, overseas to teach, or I want to, you know, do a podcast with you or do an interview with you, or if you are an entertainer or model or something like that in front of the camera, you're giving, you're being given an opportunity, but you're a little bit afraid to take it. It could be too that you're worried about competition, or there may even be some type of judgment that you're worried about with other people. Now, I will say the opportunity is coming to you, Libra. It didn't come to 15 other people. Um, I feel like that you're the front runner in it, but if you kind of let other people start getting into your head, you may not take full advantage of it. The fear on top of this is maybe that if I open this door up, will I be able to do this? Will this be a good fit for me? They wouldn't come to you if they didn't think that you were going to be the right person for it. So don't get into your head or let other people get into your head. Now, we do have assert yourself, but watch your mouth, which basically is meaning stand up for yourself. Maybe there's something that has to come in with confidence. I feel like for some of you, though, too, that there may be somebody who does come reach out to you. And it could be about money. It could be about um, something with um, a business. There could be some type of conflict with a client. But I feel like for the most part... Um, I feel like that spirit is saying that you have an opportunity or something that's coming in that you're going to have to stand your ground. So if this is somebody who's trying to push you into something that you're not comfortable with, or they're trying to manipulate you in a way that is causing you some type of doubts about what you do or what you're doing, spirit is like, you really need to kind of speak up for yourself. Don't let anybody, you know, come in. You ain't no punk bitch, Libra. You know, don't let somebody come in and try to boss you around. There definitely is some type of connection that's coming in. And some people may be trying to make you feel some kind of way about it. But it is saying that you're going to have to open your mouth and assert yourself. Now, watch your mouth. We got with the mouth card, this is like words sing like a bee. This could be somebody that's trying to talk to you crazy. This could be somebody that is trying to push boundaries with you. And spirit is like, that's why you need to assert yourself. Some of you, this could be that you need to watch your mouth. If you are having an issue, there's a lot of different ways of asserting yourself without getting into conflict or arguments with people. But I feel like if this is somebody who's talking to you crazy, y'all are going to shut it down. I really feel like the assert yourself is like you must have forgotten who you were talking to because just a reminder, and I'm going to keep reminding y'all all week with this, but I feel like that some people may be trying to... Um, I think they're trying to get into your head and I think that they're trying to keep you from reaching a goal. There could be some type of separation of something. And, um, I feel like somebody wants you to follow Libra. You're not, we're not followers. I, I don't care where you at on this, this path. You know, some Libras are very empathetic and very soft-spoken and very quiet and they don't want conflict or anything like that. But typically air signs are not follow words. They tend to lead. So I feel for some of you, you may be coming into this energy where somebody is trying to push boundaries and you may be nice. You may be letting somebody, you know, walk a little bit, say a little something, you know, maybe they're being a little bit shady and you're like, I'm going to just go ahead and let you have that one. I'm not going to say anything, but I feel like that somebody may try to take it too far and you're going to be like, okay, hold up, hold up. Let me tell you. Because evidently you forgot who I am. Let me remind you who I am. And I feel like there's a conversation that's going out. Try not to get caught up in unnecessary drama this month, Libra. I feel like there's a lot of it that's going around. I know I've been thrown into a whole well of drama that has nothing to do with me. And I'm going back trying to check people. And they're like, that wasn't even about you. And I'm like, oh, my bad. My bad. But I'm I'm accountable. I'm big enough and mature enough to know that if I'm not the right, if if I'm seeing something the wrong way, I'm gonna go in and make it right and apologize. And for some of you, you may get over over the top with something, but it may not be what you think it is. So I will say before you go ahead and check this person, make sure that you're in the right with it. Because like I said, I kind of got it. I did that a couple of times this week and it was like, yeah, we weren't even talking about you. This situation had nothing to do with you. And I was like, oh, my bad. So be careful with that, especially if you work with people. 
especially if this is family, because it may be obstacles or conflict that's going on has nothing to do with you. Now, we do have player player from the Himalaya, whether this is a male or a female. If some of you are stepping out on your relationship, it's going to cause relationship problems. Somebody's watching you. Could be somebody from the past that's, that reaches back out. You know, I'm still thinking about you. I want to reconnect with you. I want to see where this can go. And I feel like that if you do open this door, be prepared that if you are already in a relationship, it may cause some type of problems. There's something with infidelity or somebody thinking about cheating or is cheating or maybe be, you know, cheating with more than one person. It causes some type of problem. And it could be somebody from the past. If somebody from the past comes back, the thing about it is I don't feel like they're really trying to have a long-term relationship with you. Be careful. Somebody may come back and be really uncommitted. Like, I just wanted to play with you. And now you don't talk about leaving your husband and leaving your wife and coming to be with me. And that's not who I am or who I'm trying to be. You know, this was supposed to be about fun, about sex, and you making more of it. So some of you be real careful with your hearts because I feel like that you could be getting caught up in a situation that either is not what you think it is, or this could be somebody too that is playing games and they know you're in the limelight or they know that you have some type of recognition that's coming in. And this person is trying to cause problems for you. For a few of you, I feel like it's a setup. Like if you got some type of promotion, <clears throat> excuse me, or you are doing something really well in your life or you're pulling in some money and then all of a sudden this person comes back in and it's like, remember me? Yeah, you know, when I was broke, you left. Now that I got a little money, you know, in my pocket, now you're coming back. What is that? Is that, uh, oh my God, I'm from H-Town and I cannot, Jones, back then you didn't want me. Now that I'm, now that I'm this, you, you all up on me. Oh my God. I feel they're going to take, they're going to pull my H-Town card, y'all. Is it Roy? It's not Roy Jones. There's so many goddamn Jones, Jim Jones, Roy Jones. And I know I'm saying every Jones, but the Jones I'm trying to say. But I think y'all know what I'm talking about. Be careful of people that are coming back in because they feel like you got to come up. Now they want to be under you. Now they want to be connected to you. Back in the days, there may have been some conflict, or jealousy about something that was going on. And now people want to be attached to you because you have something that they want. Or either they're trying to get some type of alliance with you because maybe it's going to help them grow. Be careful. Watch the agendas because for some of you, it's going to cause relationship problems. And it may be somebody that you haven't dealt with in a while. They came back from the past, but they're causing problems. So I will say be really careful. There is something that is going on spiritually. There is a lot of communication that's coming in. For some of you, this could be your mediumship that's opening up. A few of you could have um, even something going on with telepathy where you're hearing things. You know, maybe somebody's thinking about you and you're starting to hear the words that they're saying. Or maybe somebody is literally trying to communicate with you from the other side. So there is going to be something with mediumship that opens up clairvoyance and also clear audience Libra. So I will say that there's something that is growing spiritually. Now, we always say when the veil gets thinner, but to be honest, the veil has been thin for a while. We know that the closer we get to Halloween, it probably is a lot easier because it takes spirit a less energy to manipulate electronics and things like that. So I would say keep a dream journal or something by your bed because some of you are getting messages from spirit. Your your clear audience is opening up. I feel like you can hear it. A few of you are going to be seen in spirit, maybe walk through your house. Maybe you know, you're know you in your backyard and you're seeing a shadow or something walk around. Don't be afraid of it. You know, Stand your ground. Assert yourself. This is my home, my casa. You know, don't act no fool over here. I'm going to have to go get the holy water and banish your ass. And I don't want to do it. I want to let you go on and float on. But for some of you, I feel like if you feel like you need to do a cleanse or something like that, go ahead and do it. But definitely there's a lot of spiritual growth that's happening. Some of you are going to be walking a new spiritual journey and spirit is trying to prepare you for that. There is definitely something that is going to be coming in where you are being led on a, a spiritual path. There's knowledge there. You know, you're moving from a place that is dark to a place that is enlightened. So for a few of you, I definitely feel like that there's going to be some type of spirit communication because they're guiding you. They're helping you move forward. Be open to it. 
Now, for some of you, if you do start a new spiritual journey, there could be some purging that's going on. There may be some detoxing that you need to do. Some of you might be deciding to change your diet from, you know, meat to going vegan. Some of you might be trying to cleanse your system out. For a few of you, this could just really be purging or letting go of something. But I do feel like that it may affect your immune system. So be prepared that regardless of if you are a spiritual or a religious person, there looks like that there could be some cleansing of your body that is going to be happening within this month that may have to do with, you know, negativity. If you're going on a new journey, maybe spirit is trying to push out things that you no longer need. There could be a change in the way you dress. There could be a way, a change in the way you talk, in the way you eat, even with the people that you deal with. Be careful that you don't, um, don't be afraid of it. You know, if you are purging and there's something with detox, definitely go ahead and give into it because I feel like it's going to be a part of this journey. Definitely shows that there is some type of spirit communication. Some of you, I feel like it's a male. You may have a man who's going to come in and talk to you. Could be father, grandfather, uncle, brother. Um, but I'm definitely getting a male energy that is coming in from the other side that is communicating. And what they're doing is they're communicating that you're going to be switching something up, that you're going to be doing, going on a different spiritual journey, or there is a, a new opportunity that is opening up for you. Now, it doesn't mean that you're going to go initiate into a house or anything like that. You know, this literally could be just a different mindset. Like I said, you could be changing the way you eat. You could be getting healthier. You could be seeing your body as a temple. Some of you may be attracted to new traditions, but I will say be open to the journey. The only thing that I see is pay attention. The warning is pay attention to people who are playing games with you. People who are coming in and are trying to cause relationship. People who are trying to come in and cause relationship problems. Could be people that, you know, there's a lot of gossip or there's a lot of anger coming from this person because their words sting. I will say, be careful, choose your battles wisely. If this is somebody who you really don't have a connection with, or you know that you're being played, you might want to pull away from this person. Some of you, I feel like that there is definitely some type of, um, I don't want to say competition, but there could be some type of comparison where somebody is trying to either cause self-doubts, and it's because you're moving, you're elevating up, and somebody is worried about you being successful. For some reason, I feel like they don't want. Maybe for a few of you, this is a spiritual business that you're about to open up. Maybe you are a diviner or a reader, but you have somebody who's coming in and they're trying to cause some type of self-doubt, like, oh, you're not that good, or no, I've seen somebody who does it better. Don't even don't even let them get into your head, Libra. This is about moving forward because spirit has already blessed you with this. This is already destiny for you. For a lot of you, you're being elevated. You're being pushed into something that is going to bring you some really strong recognition. And there is going to be some people who are going to feel some kind of way about it. And they're going to poke you. I definitely feel like they're going to poke you because they're coming in and trying to cause relationship problems and doubts. Don't let them do that. Stay focused on this journey. Stay focused on the goal that spirit has for you. Stay focused on walking this path because this path seems to bring you to a really good place. There may be some purging. This could be purging of food, people, places, you know, things, environments. But it looks like it's for your best because at the end of the day, I feel like it's making you stronger. I feel like you're learning to assert yourself and stand up for yourself. And I feel for some of you, you need it. Now... The final card at the bottom is, let me get it up right, is the stalking card. So you do have some people that are watching you. And it looks like that they're trying to figure out what direction you're moving or what your next move is. Let them guess. Move in silence, Libra. Move in silence. You know, get behind your fan. Oh, I can't even do it. Where am I? I can't pop. Get behind your fan. Move in silence. Don't let, they don't need to know everything, Libra. They don't need to see anything because it looks like some people are going to try to talk you down. They're going to try to talk you, you know, make you believe that you can't do it. But you can because spirit has already blessed you with it. They've already given you that gift. And all you have to do is just, you know, excel, you know, practice it, make it stronger, you know, connect with the right people. But to do that, the purging is going to have to happen. And some of you, I think it's going to be painful because you're going to have to walk away from some people or some things that maybe you have gotten accustomed to or you got comfortable with. You're about to be pushed out 
of your comfort level because success is there and they're putting you in a better place. They really are. And it looks like something that you 100% want. What is that, coffee? Oh, I got coffee. I got coffee, Libra. So Libras, I love you. You're already in that top spot. Hold on to it. Don't let somebody get into your head because they want to be where you're at. They're going to play word games with you, mind games with you, but you're too big for that. You're too strong for that. You're a leader. You're not a follower. Do the damn thing. Libras. All right. I love y'all.